Hi, right, today I'm going to share with you how you can do a quick buy on SwiftX Exchange. I'm going to share with you step by step how you can do this. So let's get straight into the video. So of course, first up, you must sign in or sign up for SwiftX, which I will leave a link in the description if you do want to sign up to SwiftX at any point. Just log into your account. And then once you're logged into your account, you'll come to your home screen. It should look exactly the same as this, similar to my screen. This is a new feature that SwiftX has just added. If you see this tab on the side here, you can just come hover over it like this. You can expand it on the button right here. I just expand it. So click on the expand button. So it just stays like that. Even when you move away, you can see options right here. So this is a new option right here, which is called quick buy. So they've just added that recently. As you can see, it says new. So if you click on this, it'll just bring up a quick buy menu right here. So a lot of people had issues with how to do, how to buy cryptocurrency on SwiftX. As I'm aware, I've had people email me or message me saying that they've had issues with figuring out how to buy on the platform. And I feel like this is something that will solve that problem where it's much more easier, much more simple. So I'm gonna share with you how you can do a quick buy and a quick sell on SwiftX. So as you can see right here, you got the option to buy and then you got the tab to sell. So all you're doing here is clicking on the buy option. And then you're at this tab right here, you're selecting which cryptocurrency you wish to buy. Now you can have favorites and I'll share with you how you can do that in a minute. You can check out the newest cryptocurrencies that have been added to the SwiftX platform. And you can look at the cryptocurrencies that you currently hold and just rebuy them if you wish. Or you can click on all assets and scroll the down until you find an asset, which could take you a while as SwiftX has a lot of cryptocurrencies on their platform. Or you could just search it for example. Let's say you just want to buy Gala. So you can just search it on the tab and then make sure this is a cryptocurrency that you're wanting to buy. Click on that. Then as you can see, there's a little tab here. All it does is change it to E. So it's totally up to you if you want to pay using how much money AUD you want to spend or how much Gala you want to buy. So you can have it where you can buy a specific amount of Gala or a specific amount of dollar amount in Australian dollars by just clicking this little bar right here. And it shows you your wallet right now, how much you got in your wallet. So as you can see the top right here on SwiftX, it shows how much my total value that I have on my account at the moment is. And then it shows you the actual dollar amount that I have on the account. Now. I've Unfortunately, at the moment, you can only buy with your what's in your wallet. So directly what's in your actual available wallet at the moment. So I'm actually going to share with you how you can put money into your wallet. So it's not a big issue. But soon, as you can see coming soon, they will let you buy directly with a card. Now that'd be very simple and straightforward. You just put in your card details, like you would have the, the numbers on the front of your card or the back of your card and the expiry numbers and that sort of thing. And that'll be very straightforward, but I will make an updated video if you do want that. So what you do next is if you do have funds in your account right now, then what you would do is click on how much you want to spend or you type in the dollar amount. So you can type in $12.50 if you want. And that's how much. And it tells you how much gala you're going to get right here for $12.50. Or you can also click one of these as well, which is just an easy way. So click on 10 and it'll automatically just give you 10, $25 worth or $100 worth or $250. Or you can just click on max and spend all your money that you have on your wallet at the moment. Let's just go 10. And then let's just click on review order and it tells you how much you're getting once again. And it tells you the fees, which is 0.06. And then it tells you the current price. I'm pretty sure the current price per gala. This is what it tells you right here. And then it tells you where you're paying. So you're paying with your e-wallet right here. And then the total dollar amount that you're buying and the total gala you're receiving. And then all you do next is click on buy. And as you can see, the Gala has been added to your wallet and it updates price. Now, if you see it's less, that just that's just them taking the fee out and you can view it in your wallet right here. If you click on this, it will take you to your wallet, but I'll show you where you go into your wallet as well in a minute. You can also click on this to make another trade. So let's click on this to make another trade. Now let's sell it. If we wanted to sell it, all you would do is click on the sell bar. You go to the drop down tab. You could either go to the owned assets already, which makes it simple for you to find the owned assets that you just bought. Or you can also type it in here as well, which I'll type it in really quick. Gala. And there it is right there. 
click on that. I already must already have it up. So there it is. It's already up. So I just went back. Now you can sell it in the gallery amount or you can sell it in the AUD amount. So it's totally up to you. You can also just click right here how much you wish to sell of it. And I want to sell all of it. And then what you would do is click on review order and confirm just like you did with the buy. So it looks like there's a minimum amount that you can actually sell. So maybe I have to adjust it a little bit. There we go, now it works. So all I do now is click on review order and then click on sell now. And there you go, as you can see, it has been added back to my balance. And I'm gonna share with you how you can get to your wallet now if you wanna view the cryptocurrency that you just bought. So all you would do is come to the side right here. You can see on the side, the left side here, you see the wallets right here, click on that. Now you can see your total wallet value and it'll show you where your money is in your wallet. So you can see that the gala is right there. That's where you will find the cryptocurrencies. They appear at the top. So if you want to actually set a favorites, for example, you can go to asset list right here on the left side, just like I showed you. And you can set any crypto currency on SwiftX as your favorite. So if you want to click on, you just, all you do is click on this little star right here and then it should be added to your favorites. And if you wanted to get to your favorites tab, all you would do is click this right here at the top, click favorites, and it shows you all the cryptocurrencies that you're marked as your favorite. You can also search the cryptocurrencies at the top right here, this little search tab. So let's say you want to search for XRP. There you go. You can now favorite if you like or do whatever you wish. Now, if you wanted to deposit money into your wallet, all you would do is come to here on the left right here, deposit button. And now it'll bring up this menu right here. Now, what you want to do is drop, click the drop down tab right here. You want to deposit Australian dollars. So click on that. Now it's simple as making a basic bank transfer to SwiftX. So all you're doing is doing a bank transfer to these exact details. I do have a video on how to do this step by step. I will leave that video in the description below. So that ho hopefully that will help you out. But that is how you can use the new quick buy on SwiftX, which makes it easier for someone that doesn't fully understand how to buy cryptocurrencies the other way. It just makes it a lot more simpler to buy and sell. If you do have any questions at all, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you do want to sign up to SwiftX, I will leave a link in the description as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.